Let's test. All right, let's go. Hello guys. So today we about to be doing the tear maker, and I realized I did fit how many singles in my other video, but I didn't do the freaking um other songs. So I'm just like, ooh, I gotta do other songs now. So let's go. The first one is Sugar Mama. Hmm, I gotta think. I can be a sugar mama, a sugar mama. I like the choreo because when they first started, uh, they when they first started, it was like doom, 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 doom. Mm. See, I love hate the reflection album because I'm not sure if it's the label or the producers, but a lot of their songs ended up being underproduced. A lot of them could sound very fresh and classic had they, you know, produced them. I want to put it good cheer for that. Yeah, they even have unreleased tracks here, wow. Okay, let's see. This is how we roll. I wanna put okay. <laughs> see, Ali's bridge really saves this song, but I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Cause like, I can't, sometimes I, I guess can't even like handle or stand the freaking the drop. Work From Home is top tier. But now nah, that's got there. I like that song. See, this is how I think. Like, hopefully, I don't have any more Camila fans watching. But like, you know, this is how I think. In the group, she was properly placed. Like, one verse at most, and then her doing ad libs because she has the perfect voice for ad libs, but not her in the whole song. Going nowhere. I think it's got there too. Wait, or talk. You ain't going nowhere. Hmm. I put got there. I love going nowhere. I think God Reflection, Going Nowhere, or like one of the like songs I go to more from this album. Yeah, I do. Yeah, cause I love I love the bridge with uh, Dino Lauren. If you wait for me, you gonna be waiting the night. Dope. Uh, I don't hate dope, but I don't go to it. I do think it's a good song, but. I'm gonna say okay for me because I really see myself playing the song. I like the Ali's bridge and the verses are nice too. And the instrumentals is probably like one of the better instrumentals too. It's like, actually, I think the bottom half of like the 727 album has better writing and is less like repetitive because the, the top half was just copy paste the verses and, but put different girls to make them sound different. Leave my heart as it is. Is this on Spotify? Leave my. No, I don't think this is on Spotify. Oh, I don't know. Let me check Spotify really quick. <laughs> Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony. Let me see. Where is their EP? They should have put EPs with their. It is. It's the fifth track. But why don't they have me and my girls? Interesting. Uh. I like the live version. Uh, I'm put okay. I don't think it's trash. Telling me. Oh, I don't remember how telling me went. Na 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 na. See, this is the thing. They have good bridges. If you want to na 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 to go, ooh, whoa. Da 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 I think it's an okay song. Down. I, I will put down as okay because, like, I know it did flop, but it is the only song in self-titled that has 200 million streams. So I think for what it did, it did okay. So I don't completely hate it. I just think Down should have been the promo single if that made sense. I think Angel should have been the first single. Because everyone would have been like, would have been like oh snap, who said I was an angel? And then like a dope VMA performance. And then Down could have been like the promo single. Uh, with the video. Because the video is like kind of like, okay. Angel video is like kind of more interactive. And then He Like That should have been like a single in between. But it should have been Down or Lonely Night. It would have been so cool to be like, who said I was an angel? <laughs> fall down and then come back into the VMA st stage and be like uh how long did I go? Lord goes I said I was an angel boom now that I got your attention sending text to my best friend that would have been so sassy and so cool for a VMA performance them girls be like trash me I'm sorry 
I don't like it live, and I don't like the lyrics. It's extremely dated. Like, if you were to go into, like, the 2022 and be like, does my ass look fat or nah? <laughs> Trash. Angel is God tier. That should have been the first single. That, a different sound and, like, mm, vibe video and everything. But, like, a, a video with a better budget. Like, had they been doing something else, that would have been so cool. Voicemail. You have it. A phone number of an ex-lover. You should probably... I, I look at that pretty top tier. That's a good song. I think it should have been on... That would have fit perfectly on reflection. Like I, like I would have taken out. Wait, let me see the album screen for the people. Before I start talking shit. <laughs> Let's see. This is how we roll. It has twenty six million. Like Mariah has for it. Mm. I think we could have taken out Body Rock. Or them girls we like for voicemail. I would even say. Possibly this is how we roll if I were to swap the streams with it. That would have been pretty cool Change the bad boy Can the good girl change the bad boy? Sorry Josh. I don't like lyrics. I'm trying to think of lyrics No, I don't like it Scared of happy mm, I would almost consider this trash because when I listen to the drop now the drop gets on my nerve Also, the, like I'm not sure if you guys seen it, but like the whole uh like, scared of happy. Dun, 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 I think it could have done better with the. Uh... Yeah, that drop. Because I think that even the 727 era had that weird drop that I really hated. They could have done better. Boss is fucking god tier. I'm sorry. Like, I know the, the lyrics can be a little bit dated, but like, as soon as that, the, the first. Dun, 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 every day is paint day. Swap my card, then I do the name name. A classic. And then Body Rock, that could have been left off. I'm sorry. Even the stream says it. Only 11 million streams. Everything else has like 15 million plus. Like, mmm. Like, but it was weird because it, it was really good to close the reflection show and it was really good live, but for some reason, like the song in general, I think it was too pop for me. Reflection could have been a great album. Like a great, great like RB urban slash like a little bit of pop here and there. Cause Sledge, I think Sledgehammer is what I think Sledgehammer is what created This Is How We Roll, Body Rock, and whatever other pop songs were there. Delivery is God tier, I'm sorry. That song deserved more. I don't care what anyone else says. Yeah, my baby knows I deliver. It deserved a better video, like, uh, or with guys. Or it would've been cute if, like, you see all four girls being, like, knocking on a guy's door. And then being like, here, here's your delivery. And then, like, the box opens up. And then all, like, four girls are there and being like, yeah, my baby knows I deliver. The life. Trash. And don't get mad, it is catchy, but it's trash. I think Camila sings the whole song too, if I'm correct. Like a majority of it, like a fat, fat majority. And that song, like, like, to me, it's like one of those hate to love songs. I don't go for it because I, I'm, I get tired of this. It's the life, life. Do I think it would have been a good single after work from home? Like, based off the streams that I'm gonna look at right now, it has 52 million. That's almost as much as Right On Me without even having a video. Like, to me, that's crazy. So, I'm gonna put Trash because I think the other girls could have sang more in a song. I don't think I hear Dinah much in a song. If I believe, or Namani. I think it's Lauren Camila in the chorus. I know Ali, you can hear a voice here, here and there. Mm, but I do, I do. I do think it would have been good for like commercials and stuff and like maybe a music video with them on a beach and partying i do think at some point it could have been a top 20 hit if they had properly released it i think camila should have stayed for the full cycle of 727 and then had her havana moment because i think the album could have had like way more hits brave honest beautiful i want to put good because i know the latin fans love this a lot and that's i think megan turner with in her with like in her bag with this song like you can shake like shakira yeah it is inspirational and it makes I, I can see why this helped a lot of girls and guys when they were younger like mariah i'm put okay i like the song at first but when i realized it i'm just like no time it takes me higher when you touch my body got me singing like mariah i know camila's one of the chorus and zina is also singing your body second yeah it does I think they could have either mixed it better or replaced Camila with Lauren or 
Yeah. Or if they could have made it like two girls for Camila's part because I think her po her voice got kind of squeaky there, and she's. I understand she is one of the other belters, but like I don't know. Sometimes her when it gets really really high, the producers put this a uh, weird effect on her, and I just don't like it. Now the party is over. Uh, okay, so that's okay. So I want to go back for it. Also, Tiger's verse. Uh, I think that was like Mariah was gonna be the last single, but I think because that Tiger controversy, uh, that happened, they stopped it because they were starting to perform like to perform that on stuff. Big Bad Wolf. Big Bad Wolf is top tier. I'm sorry. Like that could have been easy number on like seven twenty seven and like could have. How many songs were on seven twenty seven? Twelve. They could have added a song, like maybe two more songs, or they could have taken out like. A song. I don't want to say what. I'm gonna get hated on. But like, I don't know. Like the whole, even the live performances are fucking crazy. I love it. Sauce the. Mm. We can get sauced up wherever we young we'll never go I put, I put good song. It's, it's, mm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like mixing between good and okay. Cause I don't go for this song either. Forever we young we'll never go. I guess like Lauren's part where she goes, so what, uh, so what. Uh. <laughs> that part's catchy. And then, let me move this a little bit down so you guys can see this. And then, let me check. Yeah, I can see now. Perfect. Reflection. I think Reflection is top tier. The only reason why it's not God tier, even though it has like 50 million streams, which is crazy to me for like a little like sidetrack. Like that shows the potential. The lyrics are clever and witty. Like the alibs are there. The like performances are really lit. I just think it's because the production is so underproduced. Like all you hear is that boom, 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 boom. Like, I think a fan remade the whole album and did, like, better production and, like, even added more drums and, like, the stuff that they have in the live set. But for some reason, like, I don't know. And, like, with how much the album was delayed, I think three or four times, they could have, like, definitely, like, swiped up the production a little bit more. That's My Girl is also top tier because that chorus is crazy good. That's My Girl versus a good the video is amazing. I can see why that doesn't originally be the first single. And then I kind of wish I had like a better chart run too, but like since Camila left for like the last performance after the AMAs and then the Jingle Ball set or Ring of Tangle whatever, I can see why it didn't get to live its full potential. But that song can definitely been up in like like double platinum or three platinum. I'm not gonna leave you now. I play top tier too. Or good. I play good tier. Something's gonna get better. That song surprised me too because it ended up having like a lot of streams. It has 26 million streams. It actually outstreamed I Lie, which surprised me. It outstreamed like Dope and almost no way. No, it did outstream No Way. Yeah, that's, to me, that's crazy. He liked that. He liked that as God tier. I don't care what anyone says. That song is a bop. Like, I'm so sad it flopped. And it, I think it turned out 101 on a bubbling 100. It should have been at least 100. Or top 40, because that chorus is crazy. The video is amazing. The performances got really, really good as they like came, became a four-piece better. Better Together. Better Together is top tier because of the bridge and everything. It's like one of the better songs. That should have been a single, too. Instead of me and my girls. Sitting like, we better, we better, we better together. Mm, I'll put top down as good. It's almost okay, but it's really catchy. It, also, because the morning's first. Passed out real and I woke up real up. That's catchy. Uh... Let me see. I just think I really, really think they should have added a rapper or they should have cut out that one empty section with had just the beats because it gets hella quiet there and it's hella random. Otherwise, that could have also been, been like the last single material. PSA. Uh, I'm going to put trash. I think it's unreleased for a reason. I think the only good part of that song is when Ali says... Uh, Hit the stage, get paid, and then we out. That's it. But other than that, it's way too underproduced. I understand it is unreleased, but if that was like the final unreleased version, I think it was a reason why it stayed there. And it's weird to name a tour after a song that they didn't release. All again is God tier. I'm sorry. Oh, Lauren's first chorus or verse with that is crazy. They had harmonies and it sounds so good. That song should have been released. I don't know what album was for. Was it 727? I don't know, but that song is so good. 
frozen inside. That song, mm. Who are you? I love the lyrics. I would say top tier. Who are you today? Will you be the sun? Yeah, but good. Por favor. Lo que quieres si me dice por favor. I think they could have distributed the lines better because there was two versions where it's like half Spanglish and then one of them was like just Ali and Lauren. I think the video could have been better and I think the song could have been better and I'm kind of mad at Pibble for not like putting onto his album. I lied. I put good tier. I used to play the shit out of that song because like, what was it? It was Dinah and Normani with that bridge and then the final chorus. You got that real love and Normani's high note. I just hated that Ali wasn't on the on the song. I think they, they could have took out Camila's second verse because she had the chorus and put Ali there. Because I think the only part Ali has is the uh, a small ad lib of being like yeah yeah or like dun, dun, dun. something like that yeah. No catching fins. Dun, 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 dun. I think I like the chorus. But I didn't like the verses because it ended up sounding very pop. Yeah. Catching fans. Yeah. I think that there was. I think the verses sounded really pop, but then the, the chorus. I don't know. I think it sounded really urban and it sounded good at first, but then they added like, the weird pop element that I disliked. Messi is. I can be messy. Yeah. I think Messi is top tier. Uh, it's the least stream song from Self Titled, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, it's at least stream song with 10 million streams. It didn't do bad, but I, like to me, it's a really good song. They sampled it really well. Perfect harmonies, high notes from Dinah, high notes from Ali, high notes, from, what's a note from Namani? And they sound amazing. They blend it really well. Don't say love me also, top tier. Uh, I kind of wish the video was better. It, like, it did its job, but you could tell like Epic Records were not giving them a budget at that point. No way. Oh, for the video too. I wish it all, they were all white instead of like Ali and Namani being in black. Because like Lauren and Dinah look really good. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how the No Way instrumental comes out in the background. This is top tier song for me. Like, so good. Also majorly underproduced. I think they could have produced this song better too. What else? We know. We know it's top tier. I won't believe a thing you said this time. All the other girls told me how you play a game, you eat. Yeah, that song's, that long, song's lit. But also very majorly underproduced. I think I, I get to snap. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Worth it is God tier. Let me go for that one because that song made everything. They could have took out Camila's second verse, though, but Lauren. I'm sorry. Or at least pair with the chorus, too. Sensitive is top tier, too. You're so sensitive, baby. But they also did not include Namani on the song except for like an ad lib. I think she's like, she could have sounded amazing. Me and my girls is trash. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I mean, it did its thing. It has like almost 100 million views on YouTube, but like, I don't know. It could have been a promo single. They could have released two where you were better together. In Love with a Monster is top tier. They had perfect line distribution. Namani had the bridge. Camila had her perfect ad libs there. I, I think she was used perfectly well there. The video is really cute too. Live performances are amazing. No filter is. Open your heart up and. Dun, 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 dun. No filter, no. You and me. No smoking me. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Miss Moving On. I don't go to the song very often or as much, but I think it's a good song. Something bad. Money's is top tier. I'm sorry. Like, I think it's replaced, like, in. Camila's ad libs or like they redid it because like her little ah, was pretty grating. It would have been good, but I just love Ali's verse. You know you can't afford this. Dun, 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 dun. And then they could have like either edited, was it Tori Lorraine or someone, whoever was singing that thing, they, they could have like made it around, changed it up a little bit, but like that was a pretty good song. It could have been like the song after Worth It, honestly. Young Beautiful. Young and the beautiful we are alive Tonight, tonight I think it's also kind of dated. I don't think it's a bad song, but it's definitely not trash either. Productions... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good lyrics, I guess. But... Not good. But not bad. 
Definitely a song that could have stayed unreleased. But it better together originally did have an album because there's a song called Drown Us on the Ground and a whole like track list and stuff. They just didn't release it. Don't wanna dance alone. Don't Okay, that's top tier, I'm sorry. Calling all my girls. SOS SOS tonight. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Everlasting Love is God tier. I don't care what anyone says. Everyone loves that song I played too. It's like the perfect R and B song. You get that feeling of love and like that dedication. No more. Mm. Lauren's verse. Always looking over my shoulder because I don't ever want to miss you. Dinah's chorus. Ever, ever, last in love. The freaking harmonies. Ever, 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 oh. And then you have like, even Ali's, Ali like, didn't have a, a whack verse here. She had the, uh, na 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 anybody, baby. One exceptional, original. Camila had a good verse too. Namani had a great bridge to I don't even know your name. They wrote the hell out of that beat. That was hella good. And then Dinah's final like ever ever bop. That's a bop. I will. I I I think that should have had a video. But I think that should have been a single. That song was just catchy. I don't care if it's on a day date for 2015 or whatever. That song. I think that it could have stood the test of time. Got 100 million views. That song could have done well in the long run, regardless. It could have been cheap with even like a fan video. Of them being like, yeah, I, I'm a, like I love the fans, everlasting love. Ugh. That should have been a single. I stand to it. That could have been like the last single of Reflection. This is such a good song. Lonely Night. I would put Lonely Night in good tier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess for some fans or even like other listeners, that a lot of the beat changes could be a turn off. But I still think it's a pretty good song. But this is okay. Good verses, I get the meaning, very meaningful, very like, emotional, I guess, I agree with the money and the melody, like, we build bridges, like, that could've been better. Right on me is good tier, I like that song a lot, I think Camila shined here too, I think they could've did all four on a bridge, cause when I, I heard all four girls singing the bridge live after Camila left, like, it was pretty good. Like, I like how all four voices, like, had like a little like part, it made it, it made it feel more of like a a joint song within this Camila on a bridge. Squeeze, squeeze. That's good. I don't go to it often because it's kind of too mellow, but it's okay. I don't like make you mad. Y'all really hate me. I'm gonna make you miss me. This you ever have. Let me see the streams. Fifteen million. Definitely one of the lower songs. Oh no, it's hard to toss up. Oh, I think they could have left it off the album because it just reminds me of Scared of Happy and I lied with that, that make you mad, make you mad, like that kind of like breakdown that 727 had a lot with, with a lot of the songs. That, that could have honestly been on 727 bonus track and that would have not, not flinched or like bad an eyelash. All my head flex is God tier, I'm sorry. Perfect summer song should have been bigger than it should have been a top 20 hit. I get mad at Peter 24, but work from home was just so big. Sledgehammer is Sledgehammer with Dinah is really good. Like, can you look at sound bad? But I got mad because, like, did she have a verse? I believe she had a verse. She had a verse, a chorus, and the bridge with the high note to ah, like hammer, hammer. Yeah, she did. So close together, so far apart. I don't know, but leaving Dinah off of that was a mistake. A hundred hands. Can you make me feel a thousand hands? They should put Camila and Lauren on one verse or one chorus together. Cause I think they put the wrong belters there. Cause yeah, they had three other girls that could have belted, but they didn't like. It sounded almost grating. I think Camila sounded beautiful on the verse, but the chorus was almost grating to me. Goodbye is, is God tier. I have a video for that too. I made of like of them with like water and stuff playing. Cause like Dinah ate on that song. They could have had better line distribution, but Dinah ate vocally. One wish is trash to me. Going diddy dum diddy 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 dum. One wish. Yeah, I don't care about that. Ladder is. I put good tier. I like the lyrics and stuff. It kind of is kind of Disney-ish. It kind of been on the Better Together EP, but yeah, I don't hate it. I guess think they could have spliced out some of Camila's ad libs because when she 
She sounded great at first, but I think at some part when she's like, doo -doo 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 I was like, okay, I get it. Because, like, Ali was killing, like, the bridge. Because she was like... Let me search it really quick. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't get, like... Oh, I don't get, like... Freaking... Yeah. I mean, it sounds good here with that Whoa, whoa. That's fine. Going to the top. So she was fine here, but the do 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 was not needed. And at Ali's high notes. Straight to the top. Yeah, Ali was singing. Okay, yeah, that. that's a good song. I just, I just think I think it's tone can be let down a little bit with the ad libs. It could have, you mean, but a great song. Oh, that's all the songs. But here you go, guys. This is my list for God tier. This is my God tier. From home, going nowhere, Angel Boss, Deliver, he like that all night. These are pretty god tier songs. Top tier. Let's see, let's see, love me. Good tier, Shuka Mama. Top down, I like no filter. Right on me, squee. Okay tier, this is how we roll. Good, okay, okay tier is not bad. It's just songs that I don't go too often. And I think they could have been replaced with a better track. And like, I feel like you guys agree, even if you don't agree. Someone in your heart like is, is saying that. <laughs> okay, trash tier is them girls be like, change the bad boy, body rock, their life, PSA, no catching feelings, me and my girls, one wish, and make you mad. These all could have been left off of the album. Some of them are even like, yeah, some of them are even like, I'm least tracks. But like, yeah, that's my list. I hope you guys like this video. It ended up being a 26 minute video. That's crazy. But thank you so much.